Okay guys, the moment of truth. Today for the first time in a long time, I'm gonna be making a candle with no additives. So if you wanna see how I make this beautiful candle, keep on watching. Yes! I got a request from one of my subscribers and it's, you know, I always use this sheet in here, candle making uh, worksheet. Guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a PNG file. So I'm gonna insert it at the beginning and at the end of this video. So you guys can just do a screenshot and just save it to your screen. Uh, as a PDF, you can print it out, okay? And yeah, so I think because this is very useful to you guys, you know, I'm just gonna say, you know, this is the information, it's very, um, it's very simple, you know, and I'm gonna leave it in here so you can just take a look at it, you know, if you wanna make your own. So guys, I have in here so many candles that I'm testing, look. Look at this. So this is gonna be the vessel that I'm gonna be uh, double wicking with you guys. So let me just put this to the side. Okay, so this one, I've been testing a zinc, uh, zinc core uh, wicks. And this is working out on this size of a vessel. Uh, I'm trying, I was trying to do a single a single wick, but it's this is uh, like almost four inches diameter. And one wick is not gonna be enough, you know? And I just don't wanna have like a big wick, like a big flame that's gonna be very high. I don't like that. You know, I like the uh, the flame to be like uh, normal and not to be like a big uh, a big flame. So I have all this that I've been testing and I've been successful. So what I've been doing is whenever I have success on a candle, I change the label and I use red ink. So I know that this one gets me success. And this one also. So I know that these two are successful. Uh, but I'm gonna continue making, uh, burning them until they are all the way down because you can, you have to always, whenever you make a new candle, guys, you have to uh, do a test burn all the way until the end, until the until the candles, uh, it's completely finished. Okay, on this one, this is my black gardenia. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, this is the only one that I'm using a, a triple wick. For some reason, the gardenia oils, uh, the gardenia, uh, different oils that I'm using for this, uh, for this candle and also because I'm adding so much color so it needs more uh, energy to burn the wax that's why using a triple wick it's the only way that I've been able to get uh, an even melt pool all the way down you see you need the heat okay this other candle that I'm testing is not approved yet but I'm using one wooden wick and it's tobacco out and tobacco vanilla this I made two days ago and I'm using the wooden wick and it's giving me good result using only one. But this diameter in here is uh, three inches. There's a big difference between this and that size. This is my first, uh, I'm calling it my pink gardenia candle. Uh, I just made it a few hours ago, so I, I'm putting in um, plastic wrap, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it cure for a couple of days. Again, in here, I'm using a double wick. I'm using the double wick, uh, the zinc core uh, double wick. And so I'm gonna let it cure here. I'm gonna leave it to the side. Uh, two days of curing, that's all you need. Okay, so let me just get this ready. So let me find the, okay, let me just find the clips that I'm gonna use for this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so let me show you. So I'm filling this up now. So let me show you the information that I put in here. The candle name, I'm calling it Double Whammy. The date, today's date, wax type, PB600, the amount, 12.1 ounces. I already know because I've done many of these before. Fragrance, I'm not, I don't know yet, uh, but I don't know that the amount is for 10% is 1.4 ounces. The wick size, I'm using two double wicks from the Wooden Wick Company, and I'm using from the series 0 0.02, and the size of the wick is uh, 0.625. I'm using two of those. Container size, black glass, MCR official vessel, four inches uh, diameter, heat the wax to 200, add the dye at 190, add the fragrance oil 195, and pour 160 to 170. Okay, so that's all the, that, so, I mean, it's very simple. You can add any information more that you want. You can just put it in at the bottom. So yeah, 
This is mahogany woods type. I don't even know what I... Is this for a, a candle? Okay, this is nice. So I'm gonna keep it to the side. So, so far I have two different woods. Cedar wood and amber. Citron and mandarin. This is very uh, popular scent. Uh, it's from Candle Science, guys, and people love it. It's one of my favorites too. Feels very uh, luxurious. Very high end. I'm gonna see how this one works. Mahogany Woods. Do I have another mah Mahogany Midnight bour Bourbon? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Let me make a sample of this. And I'm gonna make it like, if I could only make it with only using two or three oils, less is more. I just wanna make a simple candle, but I want it to be potent. Okay, that's kind of weak smelling. So I'm gonna need something else. Uh, let me see the bergamot. And I'm also gonna use patchouli. I love patchouli. Or Palo Santo. Those are the, to me, my favorite uh, notes, my favorite uh, fragrances are Palo Santo, patchouli, uh, gardenia, uh, bergamot, vanilla and chocolate. Oh my God, this is really nice. This is smelling nice, guys. This too. Very nice. Let's start, let's start at the Midnight Bourbon. Ooh, yes. Very complex, very, uh, very romantic. I'm gonna ask my husband, I'll be right back. Yes. So he likes it. Mmm. I think it's beautiful. But I'm gonna try finding the uh, patchouli. I, I'm gonna find another another ingredient that I have never used before. Just for the hell of it. Lavender sandalwood, let me see. That could give it a different uh, and very interesting uh, touch. You know, it's all about what you like, what you think people are gonna like. You know, it's, it's hit or miss. This is very good because it's very subtle. Uh, the lavender is not like too on your face. So let me just mix it with these three. You know what, let me just take the, the bergamot out and let me just put this instead. Let's see how that works. Okay, I need to clean my, my nose with the coffee. Now I'm getting confused. Oh, this is unbelievable, guys. I like this better than the bergamot. But let me add the bergamot and let's see what happens. No. Let me ask my husband again. Okay, darling, we have a winner. So my husband liked this one. He liked it better than the bergamot, and me too. So, because it's my candle, I'm gonna do what I like. Yes. Guys, I have a few of my subscribers that asked me about my makeup. Uh, if you wanna know uh, what makeup I use, or you know, more about my personal life, you can always go to my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael. It's the link it's down below in the description box. So, Check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna make a candle with these three different. Oh my God, it's gonna be a winner, I can tell. Yes, but I'm not gonna stop there yet. I'm gonna see if I can add a little bit of vanilla and bread and let's see what happens. Because everything with vanilla, guys, makes it more sexy. I'm decadent. I could have swore I had that in here. Let me just add, smell the glowing amber. Okay, this has vanilla on it. I can smell it. So let me just make a, a scent strip. And then I have my chart in here. Guys, if you go to Pinterest, look for uh, oil, fragrance oil mix charts. You're gonna find different charts. So I have one of them in here. Uh, oh my God, let me just tell my husband, show my husband. Let me just melt them all. So that was blank, divine, glowing amber, Let's smell these two together first. Wow. Then lavender, sandalwood, I mean that bourbon. Let me ask my husband. I'll be right back. Guys, we have a winner. Yes! Okay. It makes me so happy when I find beautiful combination of fragrance oils 
that I'm not even gonna make my candle shine. Okay, so let me just put it here. I need my glasses if I wanna read, because this is very so small. Lavender sandalwood, and this is from the flaming candle. The next one is glowing amber, also from the flaming candle. The next one is a sedable blank from Candle Science. And the last one is midnight bourbon from the flaming candle. And they're gonna all gonna be equal amounts because I think the whole combination together, the same amount, is gonna make a sting. Yes! Okay, you know. So I have the, the vessel ready, so I'm gonna put it to the side. Now it's time to make the oils uh, formulation. I've been getting like this swirling. Let me see if I, if I, if I can show you on, on this brown. You see this finish in there? It looks like an oil slick. I hate the way it looks. So that's why I didn't put any additives on, on that wax. Because I think it looks, it takes the beauty of the candle and I don't like the way it looks. Look at on, on, on the black candle too. You see the, uh, the finish? I'm not liking that. So hopefully this time that I'm not putting any additives, um, let's see what happens, okay? Okay guys, we're back. So this is the beautiful candle in here. And these are the different, uh, the four different fragrance oils that I use for this beauty. Uh, again, I use, uh, for the flaming, for the flaming candle, I use uh, Glowing Amber, Midnight Bourbon, Lavender Sandalwood, and from Candle Science, I use Cedarwood Plank. So that made beautiful candle here. And again, I'm using a double wooden wick uh, for the series of the Crackling Wick. Uh, from the wooden wick company i'm using the uh the series 0.02 and the size of the wooden wick is uh, 0 0.625 inches wide okay guys so i'm gonna leave the video here um this is my the beautiful candle hi guys welcome back to the channel so today is gonna be part two of the uh testing pv600 uh with no additives so yesterday uh, what we did is uh, we made a candle and i didn't put any additives on in the wax i added four pounds of uh pv600 wax and I did not add any additives, okay? So this is the candle, let me show it to you. It's beautiful, guys, beautiful. So it's been cooling since last, uh, since yesterday, so it's been uh, um, 24 hours, and I'm just gonna put it into uh, to a, burnt, uh, a burn test, and uh, let's see if I get any HT. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a CT. Uh, I'm hopeful, okay? It's, it's only been 24 hours, so let me just... Let me just trim the wicks so you can see how I do this. So I use these two because I use these two different uh, wicks in here. So I'm using this bamboo um, DIY uh, wick holders. So here they are working with uh, wooden wicks. It's very important that you cut them very, uh, very low to the, uh, to the wax. So hopefully I will not mess up. I'm not wearing my glasses. So hopefully let's see. And I like to cut them in an angle also. You see, in an angle. So I'm gonna call this in this angle, and then I just gonna turn it. I'm gonna call the other one in the in the, in the other angle. Okay. So here we are. Okay. I'm gonna cut a tiny bit more on this one because I think it's a little bit too too much wood. So I'm gonna. Okay. So here we are, guys. Remember, um, on the first burn, try to cut them very short, closer to the wax, so that the flame will not go like. Shh. Way too high. Hopefully it will give me a good flame. And good HT. Unlike uh, with other, like all the wooden with guys, this, this can be uh, temperamental. Sometimes they give me a good flame, sometimes they don't. So you have to go up with the flow, you know? And I still think these are way too, uh, they're fine. Okay, so right now it's 8.45. I'm gonna put a sticker of the time and I'm gonna get uh, the salon ready for my husband to come and get his haircut and I'll be right back, yes! Okay, so one thing I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so this is the candle that we made yesterday, testing four different fragrance oils. This combination is gonna be, it's giving me a nice HD. I can tell right now. Beautiful combination and it's very smooth, very, uh, it's developing. It's it's not like a whoosh on your face, which I love. Oh my God, guys, this is amazing. This is why I love making candles so much. Okay guys, we're back. 
So guys, I wanted to update you guys from this, from this candle. So it's been an hour and I think the metal pool is way too big. I mean, it's, it looks, it's looking beautiful. I'm very happy with this, but I think uh, the vessel itself is getting uh, kind of hot. Let me get a thermometer. Okay, so uh, the glass on the side is 191 degrees. Uh, that's on the inside is 188. On the outside, let's see how much it measures. It measures 101 from the outside, 105. And I'm measuring the side that is closest to the flame. This one is farther away from the flame. 81. Okay, so the next across to the flame. Uh, between 113, between 103. Between 96 and 100 and 105. I mean, I don't know if that's proper. It's between 84 and 105. I mean, it's... The candle kind of itself looks beautiful, guys. Uh, the inside of the glass... I'm gonna take the, uh, the measurement again, the temperature. Above uh, the melt pool. Okay, above the melt pool. It's giving me a reading of 171. Uh, I don't know because the glass is so thick, guys. And then on the other side, the, the side closest to the, it's giving me 178, 149. So guys, if you have an idea of what this temperature means, uh, let me know down, down in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm gonna burn this for four hours and see how I feel about it. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so I'm gonna, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna give updates throughout the day. And so I'm not gonna finish the video yet. I'm just gonna, okay, so um, the testing continues. Yes. Okay guys, we're back. So it's 10 o'clock and I can't really tell this is beautiful. Uh, it's giving me a wonderful melt pool, but it's way too fast. Um, it's, let me just measure the, the melt pool. This is how you measure the melt pool. Just put a stick in it and then uh, just let it dry. And let's see, and we're gonna measure the amount of wax. Let's dry. Another tip that I have for you. Because it's very hard to visualize the, the liquid, you know, the depth of uh, what's going on. So I did this, uh, as you can see, it's kind of, uh, you can see the wetness. You see that, the shininess. So what I'll do is I'm gonna measure now. This is a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Uh, it's way too big for an hour. I have to say guys, this is half an inch deep. So it's way too much, way too soon. So I'm going to uh, extinguish this flame and I'm going to let it cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wick down on this. I'm going to get two wooden, two wooden wicks, but I'm going to be using the ones the, I think I have, let me just, let me just take a look. I'm going to take one of those uh, regular wicks. And I'm just going to sp uh, split it in half and let's see what happens. I'm going to let this cool and, and I'm going to wait because I want to keep the, the same holes. Let it have. So I'm, I'm just gonna put this on the fridge and just let it cool faster. It's good guys, when you're gonna start uh, testing wicks, just to get uh, like a sample pack. Sampler pack. Uh, you know, it's like the, in this one here, it gives you different sizes from the wood, from the wooden wick company. Uh, so let me see what sizes they have in here that I could use. Okay, they have in here, I have in here a piece of the biggest size, the biggest size, it has like a ruler in here. So the biggest size is uh, 0.75. So I'm gonna go 0.375, meaning half of this. But let me get a bigger. Now I'm confused guys, okay. So let me, I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, so this one is, this one is 0.625 and this one is 0.375. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one guys, 0.375 and I'm gonna cut it in half. Let me mark it because I'm gonna forget. Okay, so once the once the uh, the candle cools down, I'm gonna put in substitute it with these two uh, 0.375 and see how it goes. It's a never-ending search. I don't mind because that's how you appreciate. That's how you appreciate the uh, uh, the art of candle making. It's not as simple as people think uh, to be. It's a science. 
that takes uh it's all based on trial and error guys and just to me my experience is uh if you're gonna make if you want to make it into your business you have to uh you have to love it you know if you go into something that you want to make a profit or um spend a lot spend a lot of time and spend a lot of time with you must love what you're doing guys because if, if you don't love what you're doing you know it's why what's the point you know it's don't think about the money you know just think about how it's gonna be inside in, inside you know so um, okay so let me just um wait until that cools down and we're back okay guys we're back so the candle has been solidified and these are the the two wooden wicks these are the ones that i put in here originally uh these are from the series uh 0 0.02 uh, from the crackling week, I take my pair of pliers and I'm gonna take some paper towels because it's gonna be kind of messy a little bit. So you have to wait until this is solid, solidified. So uh, the goal here is to uh, take this out and just put uh, the new wicks and hopefully. Uh, so let me just place the other one in on the same space. Okay, and then let me take the other one. Perfect, it came out in one. Hopefully this will give me a better, uh, not a better, but a, a, a more timely mail pool. Uh, the other one, oh my God, the smell is out of this world. I want to give this a fair chance. So I want everything to be one level. Uh, so I'm going to uh, melt it with a heat gun and I'm going to put it on the refrigerator and I'll be right back. Okay, so I melted that. Uh, it's on the, on the refrigerator right now, and let me just put this back where it belongs. So again, guys, I'm trying to, um, I'm just experimenting, you know, all different options. I have so many wigs in here, uh, cotton wigs, and I have the, the wooden wigs. Um, I have all the time in the world, so I'm just going to try everything. So when I come up with a perfect combination, then I know uh, I try everything. Okay, guys, we're back. So this is the new uh, wooden wigs that I put in here. So I'm gonna run the test right now. So I'm gonna take you outside and let's see how this works out, okay? Yes! But before we do the testing, guys, I'm gonna update my documentation in here. Because we always have to document that. So uh, let me see what time it is now. Uh, hold on. Okay, so let's go, guys. I'm gonna be on with me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna place it in here. And let's wait a couple of hours and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, so I wanna show you another candle that I made. I made this candle uh, yesterday, it was like yesterday, two days ago. This is a, a new gardenia uh, candle that I made. But this one is called Pink Gardenia. Yes! My first pink gardenia candle, guys. And I'm using one, two, three, four different fragrance oils. Oh my God, the CT is amazing. I'm using two zinc core wicks, 44, 24, 18. And I'm gonna uh, trim this a little bit more. Should I trim them more? Let's see, you know what? I'm not gonna trim them anymore. I'm just gonna light it up. Um, so I'm gonna test to see how this goes also. And uh, now it's 11.05. I'm gonna put it in the living room, dining room. See how it does, um, because this is gonna be uh, like an HD test. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's on uh, in the our uh, in our main uh, room. These wigs are looking beautiful. The HD, it's amazing, guys. So again, guys, so uh, I'm trying not to use additives to see how it goes. You know, I think the the less additives, uh, the better. But I did. I did notice that I got a little bit of a, uh, how do you call it, the oil slick kind of a effect on the top. Okay, so let's see how that goes. In the meantime, the, I see the melt pool, the melt pool uh, formula ready in here. Uh, the goal for this candle, guys, is I don't want this to be too too hot on the container. Let me just bring it closer. So my goal with this candle, guys, is I don't want the the mail pool to develop too fast or too uh, aggressively. You know, it's it's being formed right now, so you know it's been five minutes and it's still it's forming really nicely. Uh, I like the way the wicks are burning. The flame is burning really nice. 
you know, and giving me the nice sound. So we'll see. It's all on the experimenting, guys, on the testing. I love the HD that it's giving me. So. Okay, so I'll be back in a couple of hours, guys, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. So it's 11.35. 11 so I put this at 11 o'clock. I'll show you. Looking great. Okay, the, the, the vessel is not getting hot at all. I'm happy, but it's only been 35 minutes. Uh, now, uh, the pink gardenia is doing so beautiful. Let me show you. So the pink gardenia, it's been on only for half an hour. My husband is clean washing the cars outside. So look. It's not a beautiful candle, guys. Look at that beautiful. I love the color. I love the flames. I love the way the melt pool is being uh, transformed building up so i'm very happy anyway i'm very happy so far i was developing on this test this is gonna be a very long video guys but you know sometimes the whole process on how i'm testing these candles you know it's just uh like i want to try not to make videos that uh that shows you how okay how did this candle you know if, if that's the purpose of the video it's fine but if i'm gonna show you a video like i'm doing right now is testing pb 600 without any additives I just want to. I just want to give you a conclusion, uh, you know, from start to finish. I want to tell you how I smell uh, the HT, the CT, how the uh, the wicks are working out for the candle, you know. So I'm gonna try to make my videos like that, so you don't have to. I don't want to keep you guys wondering. Oh, so what happened with that? Uh, did he like it? Did he not like it? Uh, so that's why the videos are gonna be uh, longer. Uh, it's because I want to uh, cover all the bases. I just want you guys to be uh, informed. Uh, again, I just want to remind you guys. Uh, that I'm gonna be making a uh, in G5 from this from this form, guys. Uh, a lot of you have. A so I'm gonna put it at the beginning and at the end of the, of the video as a PNG. So if you guys want to make a copy of this, all you have to do is just make a screenshot of the of this image on your cell phone or your computer, and then you can just print it out. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I knew the name of the lady who who posted this on, I, I believe she posted it on the, on one of the F, F, uh, Facebook groups, candles from uh, from beginners to advance. I'm not really sure, but she posted it a couple of times. And I know a, a few people ask her to do some kind of revisions, you know, to add more kind of information. Uh, I like this this way because it's simple to me, less is more. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so I'm gonna wait another couple of hours. I just wanna make sure that I form the whole uh, melt pool and I just want to see how uh, the vessel itself, how it's um, behaving. Does it get too hot? Uh, should I wick down even more? So that's what, to, that's what I want to accomplish on this video, okay? So I'll see you back in a couple of hours. Yes! Okay guys, so we're back. So I just finished doing a live and I think it went very well. I think from now on, I'm gonna start doing lives on Sundays. So if you want to leave me like uh, different topics that you want me to talk about, different, uh, yeah, different topics and also, you can ask me any questions, you know, personal or professional or whatever you want to ask me. That's from here. Okay, so guys, so, so you remember that I was doing the uh, the pink gardenia can candle? So while I was doing the live, I um, left it uh, burning for a few hours. And then, so <clears throat> I went back to see it, uh, to see how it was doing. And guys, I'm sad to say that uh, it started tunneling uh, for some reason. When I use color in a candle, it's very hard for me to really get a, a good a good burn. So I don't know if it's the color or if it's the uh, the fragrance oil that I'm using. I think this fragrance oil that I'm using from uh, the viscosity is, is very uh, is very thick. You know, when I do the bubbles, you see, it has to be these uh, the oils that I'm using because uh, with the with the black gardenia, is the same thing is happening. I need more heat in order for uh, the, ma the melt pool uh, to form and to be uh, successful. So I took it back and I, I I just hit it with a heat gun to even out the surface. And I'm gonna put uh, two wooden wicks in here, a small size wooden wicks, and let's see if that helps. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna leave this out and I'm gonna do this in another video. But <clears throat> I have the zinc core uh, wicks are not giving me enough energy uh, to work on this kind of a uh, candle configuration. Okay, so the other one, let me just show you guys uh, that I decided to add 
two different uh, wooden wigs. Let me show you. Uh, let me just put my glasses on so I can, so I can uh, read you the, uh, the formulations. Lavender sandalwood, uh, glowing amber, midnight bourbon, and cedarwood blank, okay? So I'm using two wooden wigs from the wooden wood company, and this is uh, for the series 0 0.02, and the size is 0.5 inches. So this is a very small, this is one of the smallest sizes. Let me just bring the lens down so you can see the melt pool. It's working like a charm. It's beautiful. It's giving me a complete melt, almost a complete melt pool. It's been three hours. So I'm very happy with this. So yeah, so I just wanna, you know, it's it's a struggle, um, but you have to keep going guys and you just have to keep trying different different uh, <coughs> configurations of week, of weeks. <coughs> so I'm gonna make a note of that. And again, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up because that's how uh, the algorithm in YouTube uh, uh, makes uh, the channel grow. And don't forget to leave me any comments or ideas or videos that you want me to make. And until the next video, guys, take care of yourself and each other. And bye. Yeah. Hey guys, this is my husband Matthew. Hello. I think we're gonna get a haircut and hair color. Okay guys, so he's gonna process for 35 minutes and let's continue uh, making candles. Yes!